So what's your role in this as the educator? Well, you're gonna have multiple roles and wear multiple hats. Chances are you're already doing this in your classroom, so don't worry too much about all of the new capacities you're gonna have to serve your students in. I like to see the teacher as a liaison uh, the, between the student and the real world. They are the person that's in the middle, you're in the middle that's trying to bring in what they're doing in the classroom into what awaits them in the real world. And so you're gonna be that facilitator that's in the middle, making sure that they have those experiences and that they're ready to face them and whatever tips or techniques or help they might need uh, in that capacity. The teacher also serves as a mentor. Uh, the teacher inquires and keeps record of the goals and the plans of the student. And when I say inquires, they really sometimes have to dig in deep and pull some of that stuff out because a lot of students may not be fully aware of what it is that they wanna pursue or there may be some hesitation involved. And so that's when your relational capacity as a teacher really comes in handy because then you're able to actually draw a lot of those wishes and ambitions and those things that they may not have verbalized yet out. The art teacher also serves as a coach. Uh, an art teacher can guide the student down different pathways and goals and support them and cheer for them for the milestones along the way. They can also redirect them when necessary and give them some options and advice whenever it comes to facing certain obstacles. The art teacher as the coach is somebody that they know is gonna hold them accountable to ensure that they're turning in applications, they're completing portfolio pieces, and really crossing all of their T's and dotting all of their I's. SAT prep courses and counselors are great and they're accessible from time to time, but not as much as you are as an art teacher. You spend a lot of time with your students in the studio. Most of you already have a really good relational capacity with your students. You really have to monopolize on those relationships and really take advantage of the trust that they have in you and their willingness to talk to you because that is gonna make a big difference on what options they have laying ahead in the future. They may not always have time to see the counselor and the counselor may not always have time to see them, but if the door to your studio is open and they know you're receptive, then they're gonna see you as an ally in this process. Next, we're gonna talk about future workforce needs and exactly what we're preparing our students for.